We've come to Kensington Gardens in West London for the 13th annual Serpentine Pavilion. This year designed by the youngest architect yet, the 41-year-old Su Fujimoto from Japan. He describes his work with natural metaphors as being like nests or caves, trees or forests. His NA house in Tokyo is as close as we've come to a habitable treehouse made of steel and glass. It's nests of space blurring inside without. Let's see how he's distilled some of those ideas in his pavilion. Feels a little bit like walking into one of those kind of early depictions of a computer mainframe, this kind of digital landscape, an endless grid that just stretches into infinity with no clear boundary, bits kind of dissolve into the sky. And I guess on a cloudy day, we'll literally dissolve into the clouds. It has amazing kind of optical effects that play with your eyes. From some angles, it looks like a tartan fabric, other directions like three-dimensional graph paper. And it's a, a whole kind of habitable landscape that you can actually climb up and explore. Let's have a go. I mean, Fujimoto's architecture is, I suppose, as close as you can get to like a child's conception of of architecture in a way. He makes these amazing climbing frames and kind of elaborate tree-housed nest-like forms that you are free to explore and, and inhabit as you like. But yeah, it's like sitting in a giant garden trellis. With these kind of abstract architectural installations, there's a point where the idea has to be transformed into reality. So you end up with things like handrails and these glass steps with a non-slip fritted coating and obviously having to deal with the realities of English weather you have these circular perspex discs which almost hover like little leaves in a tree. It'd be interesting to see what happens when it starts raining. I started from the, this beautiful green surroundings because I was so impressed by this uh, atmosphere. So I tried to create something really matching to the green or melting in melting into the green but at the same time it's outstanding from the green this uh, pavilion is of course as you can see created by a really strict grid grid structure so in that sense it is a really formal strong order but at the same time it's a the shapes is really uh, amb ambiguous or blurring so I, th I intended to create such a nice uh, duality of the forms or formless form. It's almost like he's revealing an underlying geometric grid that's there already and just carving bits away. So you end up with funny things like this, a, a coffee table that shares the same framed language. And, and the grid suffuses everything, even down to the, the bar itself. Because I suppose ultimately the Serpentine Pavilion is about creating a, a novel enclosure for a place to have a cup of coffee.